Yes, hello everyone, this is your guy Davin the Geek, and today I'm going to show you how to use the paint bucket tool inside of Adobe's Illustrator. And as you know, Adobe's Illustrator paint bucket tool is a little bit confusing, and it can be a little bit hard at one point, but you, if, you, if you practice, you'll get the hang of it really, really well. And so, um, I'm going to teach you something right here real quick. <coughs> Oh, oh man, um, yeah, like I was saying, <clears throat> excuse me there, um, like I was saying, the paint bucket tool is probably one of the most confusing tools to use inside of Adobe's Illustrator, and uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know why they made it so freaking difficult to use and confusing, I don't know why they wouldn't just make it like a, Illust I'm not an Illustrator, um, a Photoshop um, paint bucket tool or something like that, but there's a little bit of extra steps you got to do when using the paint bucket tool. So, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of using that tool as well. Okay. The pros is, you know, you can fill in anything automatically, you know, without having a problem. You know, it's quick, simple, and easy. But the con is, well, if you want to edit what you just filled, you're going to have to go in one by one. And double click, you know, what you want to bring up the window. You, I'll show you. Let me just first let me show you the pros on doing this. Okay, I know uh, most of you are like, okay, you're new to illustrating, you're like, you pick up the paint bucket tool and you're like, okay, I want to fill this in. So you're going to grab a color that you want. And anyway, this is one of my characters that I'm working with. His name is Wayne. Uh, most people probably know that. Well, my friends do, not not everybody. Just trying to get a color here. Let's go with this color right here. And you're like, okay, say this is you and you're wanting to color this. And you're like, okay, I want to color this whole head in. So you click it, you get this window. And you're going to be like, okay, um, let me try this again. And you try it again, and you get this window. Well, one really goofy thing that they um, did with Adobe's Illustrator is you have to select it first. Select what you want to fill. Let me end my stroke right there. So you have to select what you want to fill. Okay, like say if I wanted to change his eyebrow into a different color. Um, you just select it first. Just like this. And you hover over it. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. You select it and then you just use the paint bucket on it and what I did was I hit um, control and now I can just you know hit anywhere I want to change the color see just like that oops don't want to go into this window but I'm going to tell you about that in just in a sec yeah let me get out of here okay there we go so you're going to have to select what you want to color in just like that. But the downside to that is, you know, if you're making an illustration and you want to change these colors and, you know, it's going to be pretty hard if your character is complex and have different color varia variations on them and things of that nature. So what you're going to want to do is, you know, you don't want to, you want, first off, you don't want to use the paint bucket tool to color your cartoons. You would probably want to use the um, pen tool to color them. And so, yeah. But first, you're going to want to make a, another layer, like your um, coloring layer. So, let me undo what I just did here. Okay, I just did that. And now, like, what I was saying is, the paint bucket tool isn't really practical when you actually want to use it in the real world. So... I mean, if you're like someone who just want to get a picture done, you know, real quick, then yeah, I can see you probably using it or something. But what I did was I made a layer that goes underneath the cartoon. So this is the coloring layer, the, you know, fur, if you want to call it that. Uh, and so, yeah, you see right there, I went around with the pen tool. And if you don't know how to use the pen tool, please look at my tutorials on the pen tool. The more you practice with the pen tool, the better you're going to get at it. So I made that coloring right there. So I have another coloring layer, you know, the mouth and everything like that. The, you know, he's a tan and white bulldog and more colors. And, you know, just like that, you just color your character in. And, you know, and it doesn't take too, too long. You know, some people don't like 
to work with their um their projects with the pen tool because you know they're lazy i i understand i'm lazy too but you know you have to do some things you know that you don't like you know if you want to if you want to get a really good result so yeah um use the pen tool instead of the paint bucket tool and make another layer or probably duplicate the i don't know no don't do that i was going to say something else but you're still going to have to do this if you want to edit the color you're going to have to oops didn't want to move it you're going to have to double click it and go into this window and change the color like that and you know what if your character has a ton of pieces on them i meant to hit this uh, there you go and what if your character ha has a ton of pieces on them that are colored then that's gonna be very time consuming and you know artists don't like to waste time so y'all, this is Beyond I Dove and the Geek, so please check out my channel and um, subscribe. I have plenty of tutorials on cartoons and all kind of things, and yeah, go subscribe now. Bye.